Today, I wanna to talk about something that a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs are slightly struggling with when it comes to understanding how to grow the profits in their business. Hi, I'm Terrell Turner, one of the co-founders of the TL Turner Group, an accounting and finance firm that helps you understand the basis of accounting, finance, and business strategy. So today I want to talk about something that a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs are slightly struggling with when it comes to understanding how to grow the profits in their business. Now this becomes very, very important because at the end of the day, if your business is not profitable, if a downturn happens in the economy, or let's say you hit a rough patch in your business, guess what? Your business will struggle if you're not profitable. So one of the things that we want to make sure that we're doing is how do we maximize and make sure that we are keeping our businesses practical and profitable. So one of the areas that people look at a lot are their top line sales. They say, how much am I selling? Am I selling a lot of my stuff? But I also challenge you to, you wanna look at your gross margin number. Now, your gross margin is simply your sales minus the cost of your products, which gets you your gross margin. For example, if you're a company that sells coats and jackets, you know what, you would take the price of your coat minus whatever it costs you to make the coat or whatever it costs you to ship the coat to the store or to the customer, that minus your sales will give you what your gross profit is. Now, a lot of companies may look at their gross profit, but they only look at it at the very high level. They say, how are we doing as a total? What I would say, which will open opportunity for you, is to look at your gross margin by product. Now let's say if you're that coat manufacturer and you also sell coats, you sell scarves, you sell hats, you sell gloves, one of the things that you can do is look at your gross margin by product. Ask yourself, what's the gross margin for our coats? What is the gross margin for our scarves, our hats, and what is the gross margin on our gloves? Because when you look at your gross margin separately, you'll be able to identify which ones are doing very well and which ones are not doing so well. And once you understand which ones are doing well, which ones are not doing so well, then you can make wiser decisions about your business. For example, you may look and see that the gross margin on coats are 25%, but when you look at scarves and gloves, the gross margin is above 40%. That may tell you either you need to figure out how to reduce the cost of manufacturing your coats or maybe you just need to spend more time promoting and advertising your scarves and your gloves. So when you're looking at your business, you want to make sure that you're not just looking at the total gross margin, but that you look at gross margin down to the product. And once you see that, you have better information so that you can make better decisions to drive the overall profitability of your business. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. To get more free, helpful content, you can follow the show on all of the major social media platforms. On Instagram, we are at 60 Second Money. On Facebook and YouTube, we are TL Turner Group. Or you can follow Terrell on LinkedIn at Terrell A. Turner. If you have a specific topic that you would like featured on the show or have any questions, you can comment below or you can shoot us an email at contact at tlturnergroup.com and we will try our best to get it featured on the next show. Until next time.